Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. My name is TDS Rocket and in the last episode we started taking on the last gym with an unknown gym leader for those who have never played. Um, it has also been a very long time since the, uh, the last episode was released and I am making this episode. Uh, there are very good reasons for that which I do not feel that the necessity to release those onto the internet. Uh, just be happy that I'm making an episode again. Um, I'm trying to finish this LP as soon as I can. Uh, trust me, uh, it's not that I don't want to finish the LP, it's not that I'm lazy, that I don't want to make videos anymore. It's just a limiting factor is there, uh, which is stopping me from making any more videos. Um, I wanted to quickly just go over these guys again, because uh, we, we, we went over them last time pretty quick. But uh, I, uh, So, yeah, you can get Ice Beam off of him. Which is, you just get a few TMs off him. As you can see, I got uh, I had uh, 8,000 coins right there. Uh, this is Iron Tail. And this is Thunderbolt. Which is the one that we also want. And then there's, sh sh I think this one was Shadow Ball. Yes. And the last one was uh, Flamefarer. So, if you want any of those moves, you can go get them there. Um, okay, so we just did that, and now let's, um, so this is our team currently, if you, uh, forgot at all, <laughs> you could've, you could've, I, I won't, uh, be mad at you if you have. So we were doing the Vir the Viridian Gym, the Viridian Gym, what the fuck is flying outside? There's a plane flying outside, making lots of noises that I'm not sure if you can hear. So if you're hearing anything weird in the background, that's what you're hearing, probably. So uh, let's finish this gym. Um, I fought this dude. I didn't find fought. I haven't fought any of the other ones. Um, but this guy's the last guy you have to fight. This is the last guy that's blocking you from continuing. The Karate King, as he calls himself. However, we fought the Karate King before. Yes. It's just the black belt, dude. <laughs> Takashi. Lol. Uh, so we just fake out and then into Aerial Ace. That's how we're gonna defeat him. Now, let's uh, just defeat this guy as quick as we can. Come on, hurry up. I don't like this fight because it can still hurt a lot. Yeah. Pretty easy. The revenge is a good move. Revenge is a move that does more damage if damage is done to the user, which uh, is stupid. Well, it's not stupid, but it just makes it really good. Uh, and Joker. I don't feel like handling this with Kangaskhan currently. Now, Shoot air cutter. It missed. Amazing. Foresight, okay, that is not the best move you could do on Joker, definitely. Rock throw would be very effective, probably has it, I'm not sure. Fight throw, it's going to be not very effective, it's going to be like nothing at all. <laughs> it's kind of pathetic. Um, Joker seems to be very good for uh, fighting fighting types, because of his uh, double resistance. And he ends it off with a choke. Let's just do wing attack because we know it hits. It's a bit safer. And he does revenge. Let's see how much damage that does. Hardly anything. Amazing. Okay. Good. 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 Okay, everyone's in the 40s now. That's awesome. Black Bell Takashi. Joker is evolving. We've had this before, it doesn't do anything. Thank you. <laughs> We're nearing the point where it actually will do something. So, let's uh, be excited for that. So, now that we've done this, we can pass this guy like this. And we can see who our gym leader is. It's fucking Giovanni. Like, what? Um. So let me just uh, 
get my team ready for this fight. It's gonna be a relatively easy fight. Uh, should win without any any trouble. He's got some high levels in there, which is why I'm kind of afraid. But it should be all good. Let's use our lemonade on Kangaskhan. And then he's full health. Uh, do we have anything else we want to use? Yes, we want to give our quick. Oh, we don't. We don't use a quick claw. It doesn't do anything. We want to give it to. Who's our slowest? Probably. I think Kangaskhan. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, I could use the water stone to evolve Mercer at any given time, but there is a good reason again that I'm not doing that yet. Um, hmm. We don't have that many uh, hold items to give out, so that's kind of sad. Okay, um, then let's see, our optimal team setup would be, uh, I think, Saphira first, but I have to take a look if that would actually work. TM case, let's open the TM case, because we bought, where is it, Ice Beam, there we go, we're giving that to Saphira. We could actually, actually, uh, mm, mm. Let's see if she can learn water pools. If she can learn water pools, I'll give her that. Oh, wait, wait. Kings can clear as well. Ah, water pools. Water pools is good. It's no use. To, well, it, it is useful to give her um, ice beam, but the whole giving her ice beam would. Well, the thing that ice types have is they're good against dragons, but well, it's a dragon, dragon versus dragons, also good, and you'd always be better off using a dragon move. Uh, so, we're taking this choice. Um, getting rid of dra dragon rage instead of twister. Twister would be the worst move if you think about it, because it, well, twister deals a low amount of damage, dragon rage deals a set amount of damage, but because the set amount of damage is something that can be surpassed by the low amount of damage, well, bleh. There you go. This is the logical choice. For me, at least. Um, we can teach Ice Beam. Oh, wait, we have Blizzard as well. Let's see if we can learn Blizzard. I think. Ooh. Ooh. The thing with Blizzard, though, is the 70 accuracy. And uh, Ice Beam is just really good. So let's just learn. Let's just learn Kangaskhan Ice Beam. I think Kangaskhan really is going to be our most decked out Pokemon. It's got Aerial Ace. It's got, it's got really good moves. Um, we're saying goodbye to Fake Out then. That's too bad. That's too bad. <laughs> this guy is so decked out. He's got such good moves. So, like, what? Uh, Thunderbolt. We want to teach Spike Thunderbolt. Which move should be forgotten? Uh, pin missile. Yeah, preparations, man. Could have done this off cam, no problem. <laughs> I, th I think it's good showing it on cam though, because uh, you guys see some uh, thought process that goes into this, um, and it explains where why they suddenly have these moves, which they didn't have before. Steel wing, Bob and Joke get that move. I think that'd be a good move for Joker, to be honest. Um, yeah, let's do for Air Cutter. Okay, so uh, our team's decked out with good moves. Um, coincidentally, most of these moves are good against the sh well, not most of them, but uh, some of these moves are good against most of Giovanni's Pokemon. So, uh, Giovanni, show me what you got, my friend. It's been a while since we fought. It shall be. So oh, wait. <clears throat> it shall be so. Wait. What? I'm being stupid with reading. I love it when I do that. <clears throat> It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. I skipped the first screen on accident, sorry. But you have found me again. So be it. This time I'm not holding back. 
Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. <laughs> Giovanni, one more time. <laughs> it's the third time, actually. But this is the last time that we fight him. He opens up with a Rhinehorn, Ground, Rook type, Lightning Rod for the ability, No Held Item, Take Down, Scary Face, Earthquake, and Rock Blast Arts moves. Um, what does Lightning Rod do, you may be asking? Uh, Lightning Rod basically uh, wor only works in double battles. Um, what it does is it will attract any lightning based moves towards it, making them useless. So, yeah. He continues to go into Dug Trio. Dug Trio, a ground type Pokemon with Sand Feel for the ability. Slash is one of its moves, like you just saw there. Sand Tomb, Earthquake, and Let's Love are the rest of its moves. Pretty good Pokemon all around, to be honest. It's not bad. Not bad. Earthquake, ooh, that's its strongest move. Mudslap being the most annoying one, as uh, that lowers your accuracy. And deals damage as well. It's really gay. Actually, now with Sephira, everyone's in 40s. Lol. I was wrong. Okay, so here comes the first issue. Nido Queen. Which, there's three issues, by the way. Let's see. Nido Queen is a poison ground type. Uh, we're best off with Bob, I think, right now. Um, this is because I know its move set. Uh, its move set is Earthquake, Body Slam, Poison Sting, and Double Kick. This basically renders two of its moves useless. Um, however, this type matchup still isn't superb. It's a Poison Ground type. Its ability is Poison Point, so don't make physical contact if you can avoid it. So don't use moves like Fly or Metal Claw. Um, so I'm just going to use Flamethrower. And uh, its moveset, yeah. We just went over that, didn't we? Poison Sting and Body Slam. That's all it can do to damage me. Uh, this isn't too bad. Body Slam is annoying for its fact that it can paralyze, and AI seem to have really good luck with that kind of stuff, and I rarely do. Yay, amazing AI cheating is what some people may call it. Um, I'd agree with them if it wasn't for the fact that it actually makes the game a little bit more difficult. So. <laughs> Bob is level 41. Sweet. Rhinorn. Okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense to, to actually do that. Uh, he's switching up from his um, normal rotation, which is what uh, caught me off guard. So we're going to put Mercer out, which is... Um, my toughest one th to fight him. Rhinehorn! Level 50! Let me just say that. Level 50, that's high. Ground Rook type. Lightning Rod for the ability, just like the other one. It has the exact same moveset. Take down Rock Blast, Earthquake, and Scary Face. Hmm. Shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> really shouldn't be. I mean, we have a pretty good water type Pokemon here. Uh, who can deal a lot of damage and double super effective hits. Not that hard to defeat him, to be honest. It's uh, his toughest Pokemon, but if it was Evolved, it might have been a bigger issue, but still. Uh, yeah, and here's the, the last issue, Nido King. For Nido King, we're going to put out Kangaskhan. I find it fun to switch around. Uh, the issue here is that he's going to be able to double kick me, which is going to be super effective. He's got Earthquake, Poison Sting, and Thrash for the moves. Poison Point for the ability, so again, don't make uh, direct contact if you can avoid it. We're just going to do Ice Beam. I like Ice Beam. It's a cool move. Super effective in this case as well. It's really nice. Uh, he does Earthquake. Not a bad choice. I personally probably would have gone for Double Kick. I think that will do actually more damage than Earthquake is doing. Not necessarily, though. Uh, as Earthquake has got a 100 damage uh, output, and Double Kick simply does not. But I think the amplification of the super effective hit will be enough to uh, actually give him the edge. So, uh, I'm not sure. The AI must have chosen uh, to do Earthquake, and uh, it's a good move. Definitely a good move. So, uh, that's how we win from Giovanni without uh, losing anyone. That was a truly intense fight. You have won. I can skip the first screen because I'm a retard. As proof, here is the Earth Badge. At least he gives you the Earth Badge. That's quite... I, I, res I respect that. 
I mean, you beat the guy three times, and then the last time he gives you the Earth Badge. Okay. The Earth Badge makes poke. Makes Pokemon of any level obey you without question. So now you can trade Pokemon safely from level 100 onto your uh, say file and they will listen to you. Uh, this really would only matter if you still have a working Pokemon Fire Red um, cartridge. Odds are you don't because uh, the battery inside them is probably dead unless if you reach, like, like unless if you swap there for a new one. Um, so. Yeah. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge to Pokemon League. Also, take this TM. Consider it a gift for your Pokemon League challenge. Ash received TM26 from Giovanni. Uh, TM26 contains Earthquake, a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor. I made it. Uh, I made it when I ran. I made it when I ran the gym here. Far too long to get. Um, basically what he now does is he dissolves the entire, um, syndicate of, uh, the Team Rocket. The whole Team Rocket syndicate is just gone, because you defeated him three times in a row, and he doesn't want anyone to actually know that that happened. So he's like, uh, tuh, Team Rocket, tuh, doesn't exist. What are you talking about, my friend, eh? And, uh, yeah, it's kind of a dick move. Okay! With this out of the way, um, we can actually now go to the Pokemon League. Um, and we're going to head to the gate and then end off the episode. So uh, we'll be doing that in the next episode. Whenever that one will come out, please just give me time to uh, get things sorted. Um, I'm hope like... It oh, whoa, Gary. Okay. I love forgetting about Gary fights. They happen too often. What? Ash! Oh, wait, wait, his voice. Um, how did I do his voice again? Oh, yeah. What? Ash? What is the price to see you here? So, you're going to the Pokemon League? You collect double badge too? That's cool. Then I'll whip you, Ash, as a warm-up for the Pokemon League. Come on! Okay. Um, I forgot about this fight, so I didn't uh, research the moves, uh, the moveset. Um, so please forgive me on that. In this case, it would have been nice to have actually taunt Sephira Ice Beam. Uh, I could have used that. But, eh, uh, whatever. Uh, let's Thunder Wave and get out. Oh, crap, this is actually going to be a pretty hard fight here. At least I can tell you Pidgeot is a normal flying type, <laughs> in case you haven't figured that out. Probably he's got Early Bird, uh early bird as its ability. Not sure. Could have something else. And that's going to be not very effective. I'm happy we finally taught you an actual electric type move. Meaning you can actually do what you're supposed to do and take out flying types. Which is really ridiculous that, you only, that I only taught you that by TM like now. But that's because I had you as an Eevee for way too long. If I defaulted earlier, would have learned more electric type moves than it has. Oh well. Bit of a mistake on my end. Um, let's see a Rhinehorn. Okay. We know how to deal with those. We check out Mercer. Mercer. Alex Mercer. Where the name is from, in my opinion. Um, okay. Seems that uh, some of my neighbors have started a party <laughs> as I'm hearing music coming from outside. That's annoying. Uh, anyway, if you guys are hearing that, of course, then now you know what that is. Um, and execute. Okay, grass psychic type. Let's send out Bob, which means that he's going to be sending out uh, his water type soon. Blastoise. Flamethrower, that douche. Could have also chucked out uh, Joker. If I had chucked out Joker, he would have gone into Arcanine, maybe. Depends. Uh, all right, okay, Blastoise, Blastoise, Blastoise. Just crap! I can't really do Spike at this point. He's already taken too much damage. I should have done Kangaskhan with that in mind. Uh, Mercer. <laughs> 
Oh, I wear my fingers. I'm sorry. Sorry, I have to do that. Uh, okay. Hypnosis. Yes! Hypnosis actually hit on the first try. Level 53? 53? Okay. <laughs> level 53. That is a high level. <laughs> uh. Whoa, that did no damage. Body slam. That also did no damage. I hate the fact that Blastoise is a good wall. Um, stay asleep, please. I would very much... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this. This is giving me an opportunity to actually take you down with ease. Thunderbolt! He's still 13 levels higher, which is a fuckload. If he stays asleep, I can kill him. Oh, no. Oh, that's gonna... Yeah, that's gonna do spike in. Okay. That sucks. That sucks. Um... Joker. Speed is what I'm going for right now. Uh, you guys might want to see Steel Wing, so let's do it. It's basically Wing Attack and Harden combined. So it's kind of stupid. Whatever. Defense is rising. It's pretty cool. But it's not amazing. And of course he does Water Gun. Because that would make a lot of sense to do that. Move. Let's do Wing Attack. Hmm. Haha! Defeated, you twat! Look at everyone getting. Okay. Oh god, Alakazam! Oh god, I forgot about him having Alakazam. Oh, we should be fine though. We still have Kangaskhan who can bite. Um. Hmm. That's a high level. Bite. Okay, he has got Psychic now. He is actually dangerous. Holy crap! Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Future Set. Thank you. Thank you. That's still gonna screw me over later, but thank you for doing that right now. It gives me a chance to hit Ice Beam off. Didn't freeze you. I was hoping it would. Another Ice Beam. Quick Claw! Yes! Quick Claw going in effect right there. Sweet. Uh, why did you do? Why are you doing future side so much? There's no point. AI being dumb, amazing. And there's future side doing damage. Damn it. Uh, okay, that sucks. It's a good move, future side. I like that move. Let's see, Mercer. Mercer still isn't a fighting type, meaning that this is actually a viable battle. Yes! Go fuck yourself! <laughs> Mercer gets all the XP. And. Oh, okay, it's not evolved yet. Grow light. Okay. We win! Fuck you! Dick. Ha! Intimidate. I intimidate you, comrade. And you're dead. Go fuck yourself. What? I was just careless, you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That loosened me up. Blah, blah, blah. I don't really care. Go away. You're a douche. Smell ya! <laughs> Fucking hate him. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, let's end up the episode here then. <laughs> In that case. Uh, an unexpected Gary battle. They're always fun, eh? Uh, there's, there's, there's at least two more uh, gonna be in this series. <laughs> I'll expect them next time. Uh, in the next episode, we will go further towards the Pokemon League. And for any Pokemon player, we'll know what will be in store for us in the next episode. And, um, yeah. Goodbye, people. It's, uh, it has been fun again to, uh, to uh, make episodes and stuff. Goodbye!